Electrical shock hazard. Disconnect power before servicing. Replace all parts and panels before operating. Failure to do so can result in death or electrical shock. Make sure the hot water supply line connection configuration complies with local codes and ordinances. It is recommended that the 3 quarter by 3 8 inch hose fitting be connected to the water supply line prior to installing the unit into the cabinet opening. This installation animation features flexible braided tubing but will detail copper tubing differences as required. Copper tubing requires a separate nut and ferrule. Slide the nut, then the ferrule, about 1 inch or 2.5 centimeters onto the tubing. Route the water supply so that it doesn't touch the dishwasher base, frame, or motor to avoid vibration during operation. Insert the water supply line into the 3 8 inch compression fitting as far as it will go, making sure the 3 quarter inch hose fitting is facing upward and the rubber washer is inserted as shown. Note, do not use Teflon tape with compression fittings. Slide the nut forward and start turning it onto the threads. Secure the nut to the elbow by holding the elbow fitting with a pair of pliers and tightening the nut using a 5 8 inch open-ended wrench. Caution! Copper tubing bends and kinks easily. Align the 3 quarter inch hose fitting with the dishwasher valve and hand tighten the coupling to avoid cross-threading. Check the tightness of the coupling using pliers. An additional one quarter to one half turn may be required to seal the rubber gasket. Note, do not over tighten as this could strip the threads and cause leaking. Place a paper towel under the three quarter by three eighths inch hose fitting. Turn on the water supply. If leaking occurs, repeat the steps to tighten the connections.